one without using a calculator determine the value of each of the following so a2 sin 30 cos 30 so we know that sin 2a is equal to 2 cos a sin a we see here cos a sin a 2 cos a sin a is equal to sin 2a which is equal to so we have 2 cos a sin a where this one is a which is equal to sin 2 a which is equal to sin 60 so we know that this one is a unit angle so sin 60 we can calculate it so if we have here so we have 2 2 2 so 1 2 this one is 3 so so cha toa sin 60 is here right because this one is all 60 so this one is sin is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse opposite is 3 divided by 2 this one is hypotenuse b cos okay so b cos square 165 minus sine square 165 so we know that cos 2a is equal to cos square a minus sine square a so this one is cos 2a which is equal to so this one is a this one is a right so cos 2a is 165 we get cos 330 so here we can find the angle by using the reference angle so we see here 360 is actually here which is 360 so this one is 30 degree right and we know that as tc the quadrant rule at the fourth quadrant only cos is positive and this is cos so here we get which is equal to cos 30 so cos 30 already deleted that one never mind so this one is 2 1 because 2 2 2 is it becomes 60 degree so 30 degree is here which is half so just right here so cha toa so we see here 30 degree and we want to find cos cos is adjacent divided by hypotenuse adjacent is here which is 3 hypotenuse is here which is 2 which is 3 over 2 C1 minus tangent square 75 over 2 tangent 75. So we know that here, we have to write tangent 2A is equal to 2 tangent A divided by 1 minus tangent square A. So you see here, this one is tangent 2A. So you see here, this one and this one is similar except it is changed, right? So this one is actually... 1 over tangent 2a you see here this one is actually 1 over tangent 2a so this one this one is a this one is a right tangent 2a is 75 so here we get 1 over tangent 150 so we know that here 150 at the second quadrant where this one is 150 so the reference angle is 30 degree but then you see here at the second quadrant only sign is positive so this one is definitely negative so negative tangent 30 which is equal to negative 1 over tangent 30 so you see here from my triangle here tangent is opposite divided by adjacent so this one is my 30 degree so opposite is 1 and then adjacent, this one is 30 degree, adjacent is set 3. So negative 1 divided by 1 over set 3 is equal to, so when we divide fraction, it's actually we multiply opposite, which I mean negative 1 times set 3 divided by 1, which is equal to negative set 3.